We've looked at several ways to edit clips within Ableton. Let's listen to this file. And I've double clicked, double clicked it into the clip editor. We've looked at warp, we've looked at loop, we've done reverse, we've done volume transposition. Right here is a E. And this is going to open up an envelope editor right on this side there. Let's check it right there. So this is what we're talking about today is the envelope editor. Now there's transposition here. I can transpose clips. I can do volume automation and pan. So basically think of this as a automation area within Ableton Live. So let's note that we have a pencil. I've got a pencil right here. Now it is, there is a pencil in the toolbar, but if you hit control and click in the field, you'll get a contextual menu. And then this, you can see that this draw mode command B is checked on and off. You'll also notice when it is off that I have no pencil and no yellow pencil light in the transport either. So turn yours back on and let's do some transposition editing. I'm just drawing some contour here. And I'm going to cut this loop in half so we can hear it. Okay, once again, pushing it to the edge just so we can hear it. Now go to the envelope editor and click volume and really drag some holes into this file. Let's listen. Basically, clip-based automation. Here's some pan. So this is not track automation. It's uh, clip automation. And it's cool because it's embedded directly within the clip. And I can draw it and move it and manipulate it. And quite musical once again. So Ableton Live, clip-based automation.